South meets East, this time with G8 powerhouse Japan. is the third largest economy in the world. President Zuma says this partnership will assist the continent's infrastructure drive. We are looking at Japan, for an example, taking part at the continental level in the infrastructure that we have come up with, how it could participate in the process of our integration as the economic kind of thing. That does not cancel the bilateral relations that Japan has with other countries. To advance this objective, Japan has pledged to help finance this infrastructure. Japan will provide 650 billion yen, about 6.5 billion US dollars over the next five years. This will be allocated to developing the infrastructure that Africa itself deems necessary and plans itself. Assembling African flavors, Japan is intent on exploiting business opportunity with South Africa. It's all about economic opportunities, what's happening in the African continent, the way the African continent is turning around. And uh, as I said before, I think that uh, Japanese companies are beginning to seriously think about increasing their game uh, on the African continent and are also seeing South Africa is quite pivotal in that regard. The engagement between Japan and Africa is now under the auspices of the African Union. Our continent is once again infused with a sense of optimism and unimaginable opportunities with a number of positive indicators and trends. Conference discussions will continue for the next two days. TICAD is normally held every five years here in Japan. But with Africa's story taking center stage, Japanese Prime Minister has asked that it be held earlier, possibly in Africa, to further explore economic ties. Mzondi Lembej, SAPC News, Yokohama in Japan.